back to our channel. Today, we want to check out a couple of different dessert places that are local and also Asian-owned and places that we really recommend. And some of them do have an interesting story about how they were hit by the pandemic and they really need our support. So that's one thing that we definitely want to do today and to put our support behind some of the local businesses here in the San Gabriel Valley. Yeah, so if you want to know what the best desserts are in the San Gabriel Valley and the must eats, stay tuned. If you're new here, we are Peter and Lisa Kim. We make videos weekly about travel destinations when we get to travel and also the best food and drink experiences with the best value. Yeah, and today our first location of the day is Mr. Obanyaki. And Mr. Obanyaki is a dessert, it's a cake that is baked and inside there are fillings and there are six different fillings at this location. And the six kinds that we got are the custard, black sesame, taro, red bean, matcha coconut, and Nutella. And these desserts are very nostalgic for a lot of Asian Americans because they're like childhood pastries that everyone has tried at least once in their life. Not only that, but it's great any time of the day. It's, a, it's the afternoon for us and we're like, yeah, I think it sounds good just to have between meals. Yeah, and here we have a six piece combo that they charge $15.98 for a total of six. And we've had this place before. It's very, very good. They make it fresh to order and it's a mom and pop shop. The owners are really nice. They're very invested in the community and they're just overall very, very great desserts that we think everyone should try. Yeah, and as you were saying, this is they're a very great establishment and they're very transparent about some of their struggles that they've had and a lot of businesses you don't hear a lot of that from and really makes us connect with them and people within the community and this is one of the reasons why we really want to show our support for them. Because of the pandemic and all the uncertainty, they're not sure how long this is going to last. It's a struggle every single day, not just for us consumers, but also for business owners. So we have to be considerate of that too. So let's be a supporter of small local businesses. Yeah. So let's get into the taste test. They do not skim on the filling. But very light still. So mm. You don't feel as guilty. I appreciate that the coconut flavor is not overpowering. It's soft and bouncy and mochi like. Actually, I was kind of scared that because we picked it up sort of late, that it would be soggy, but that's not the case. It's still super perfect. Yeah, and all of these are made to order, so be sure to order ahead. It does take some time, but things that are good do take some time. So be patient and you will be rewarded with something extremely delicious that we recommend that's easily 10 out of 10. Definitely a 10 out of 10. We went back in the car because there were so many airplanes. So taste test of the other ones. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is like Dr. Pimple Popper. This is the custard. Cheers. Mmm. This isn't better than the last one. This one's very nostalgic. There used to be this lady at the San Gabriel Superstore that would sell it on the outside of the supermarket. And I would always buy it from her. And sadly, I don't know what happened to her, but she stopped selling it there. So this is really nostalgic. It's really delicious because it's kind of like crispy on the outside and very like fluffy, delicate on the inside. Mm hmm and also not too sweet that one's the best one so far mm-hmm let's see what this one is it's like a surprise oh see that red bean oh my god it's so filled holy moly i also appreciate that this is not too sweet a lot of the times when you get red bean desserts, they're always like so sweet. 
Yeah, this one is nice. So good. Really nicely balanced. This one has little speckles of black sesame in the bottom. So I think this may be this the black sesame. Struggle. Struggle. Whoa. Uh oh. Whoa. Ooey, gooey, ooey. Gooey. You get the big one. Mmm. <laughs> I like this one. This is the best one. This is so good. I wouldn't even describe this as sweet. Mm -mm. It has like a nice nuttiness to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't taste sweet at all. So if you don't like sweet desserts, you might like this one. I wish I had a cup of tea. Mm. This would go great with some tea. Next one. I feel like Hulk. Oh. Ooh. Oh gosh. This is a taro. For sure. Taro, taro, taro. Mm. It's good. I feel like lots of the time, taro flavored stuff is usually like really artificial tasting. It almost tastes like sweet potato-ish. Mmm, very good. And this is our last one. Ah! Nutella! Nutella! This one's gonna be sweet. Yeah, you already <laughs> know it's gonna be good. Mm. This one's for the kids. It's sweet. The outside, the cake, it balances it out. It's also a good way you ate this one last. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> this is by far the sweetest one. But if you're a Nutella lover, mm -hmm. definitely get this. So out of all six, I think the set black sesame is my favorite. Yep, same black sesame. Mm -hmm. That was the best one. And then the custard, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you really can't go wrong with any of these. I know like we all have different preferences and you might skew on the sweeter side and then you might like the Nutella one. Or if you like something that's very light, then you go with the black sesame one, which has a nice like nutty mm -hmm. flavor mm -hmm. to it. But either way, these all have like a really nice texture to it because they're cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. And like out of the two times that we've been here, they've been very consistent, which yes. is awesome. Yes. All right, let's go to our second location. Try the black sesame. How is it? It tastes very black sesame. As soon as you try it, you're like, oh, that is black sesame. It's, it's vegan. Yeah, it's vegan and it's very light. And for the people that don't like sweet, once again, this is your choice. Mm, super black. And this is the pandan soy, soy milk. milk. Also vegan. Mm. You taste the pandan like afterwards. Like it's very refreshing at first and then all of a sudden you get the flavor of it afterwards. It's more sweet than this one, but still nice balance. Also vegan. It tastes like a black sesame soup dessert, if you've ever had it. It's very sesame. Mmm! <laughs> I did not expect it to be this creamy. So a little history about Big Softy. Their menu is always changing. So it's always like interesting and you never have to get the same flavor if that's like something you like. Always changing their flavors and it's always very, very good. Yeah, and I think one thing that we can appreciate is that it does have a limited menu. That way you're not overwhelmed with too many choices. Beauty and simplicity and a short menu. Yeah, and Big Softy, they're inspired by all the Hong Kong flavors and desserts, mm -hmm. which is very, very nostalgic. We're lucky enough that a place like this exists right down the street from us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we also follow them on Instagram where they post all of their latest flavors and, and things like that, which makes it awesome because then when they do have a new release, they're like, okay, we're going. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10? Mm-hmm. Always. I don't think we've ever had a bad flavor from here. No. All right, we have one more destination to go to and we're going to go right now. This is their really, really famous volcano brick toast. You can only get it on the weekend from 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock. 
and you only can get it dining in. And luckily, we are the only patron in this whole bakery. Let's dive in. The bread is toasted with sugar and is topped with ice cream and strawberries and whipped cream. This can easily be shared with between like two to three people right here. It's huge. It was too much. I'm like sugared out and carved out. <laughs> So that is our suggestions for SGV must try desserts. Yeah, some of these are ones that you're gonna have to try during the day because not a lot of these, or at least these three, aren't ones that are open late night and they do have some time limits. So we do recommend just try to fit them in between meals if you're out here or just making your way out here to support the local businesses. If you've ever tried these places, let us know what you think. And we hope you enjoyed this video. We plan on doing a lot more of these type of videos coming soon. We post videos every Sunday, so please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. We hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.